Good evening. Hello, hello. Why she say goodbye when I say hello? Okay, we already started the class. How are you, everyone? Hi, teacher. I am fine. I did it. How was your day? Oh, my day is doing good. Perfect. I was trying to do get up in the morning. I'm not hearing you too well. At what time did you get up in the morning? Oh, I got up today at 4.15. 4.15 mm -hmm. in the morning? Yeah. So early? I start working at 5 from oh. Monday Monday through Saturday. Okay. But yeah, tomorrow is the most terrible day because I finish one job at 12.30 and I start teaching at 1 p.m. So I have to fly on the car, eat on the car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's important. Okay. Okay, we are nine already. I'll just go ahead and do the attendance while we wait for the others. We can go straight with the class. Today is Friday, Black Friday, the 26th. So, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Great. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Hey, thank you. Eugenia, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Welcome. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Presente. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Flores, uh, Ramirez Flores, sorry. There you are. Tuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. 
Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Sánchez. Oh, Alexis. Good evening. Alex, oh, there you are. Yeah, Thank present, you. but I know in my house. Got it. I'm not in my house. I'm not in my house. Okay. Good. When you say not, guys, say not, 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 not. You do not. Okay. So tell me, how is life treating you? How is life treating you? How's it going? <laughs> Have you buy? Have you bought? Have you bought anything? Uh, no. In my case, yes. I I bought a fire stick to to, to become a to to convert a TV on a smart TV. Oh, got it. How much did you pay for it? Twenty five twenty five dollars. Online. Yes, on, on Amazon. I mean, a friend, the, the, the next the next month, a friend a friend comes to to Salvador, so they he will they, he's going to help me. He will. He will go. He will help me. He will help me. He will bring it. He will bring it to me. Okay, excellent. I'll I'll make some purchases and I'll ask him to bring it to. <laughs> <laughs> Good, okay. Uh, let me try to do something here. I'm trying to see that thing there. Okay, continue. Talk about the Black Friday. Mm, other traffic offers that doesn't, it, it doesn't offer because ah, it, they are in offers. It's shit, it, it, it's shit. The, 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 the stores uh, should you. With the, with the price. The store? Oh, cheat, sorry. Cheat on, you, cheat on you. Cheat on you. Cheat on you. Huh? Yes. Hmm. How do you call that? Sorry. How do you call Marketing. that? Marketing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's the biggest scam. Mm, scam. But how do you call it? How do you call... Uh, how do you say... Estafa or yeah, Estafa. 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 Mm, let me see. I don't know. I have problem with with Tigo with my internet today. Oh. Yes, I am I am connect with using my phone like a hotspot. Oh, okay. I'm sure you do have enough data. Yes. Estafa, estaf, scam, scam. Mm, there's another way of saying it, ripoff. Mm. That's a ripoff. I have been ripped off. I have been ripped off. That's a phrasal verb. I watch some videos on the internet when the, 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 the people is crazy in this in the malls. <laughs> oh, at the malls, people go crazy with yes. I hear I hear cues and I I, I ask for the, that people doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know because from the morning there there are they are in the in the malls, so they they just they don't don't work or they ask for a permission to to buy to buy on the Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's a good time to go out and do purchases. You know, I mean, yeah, there are good deals. There are good deals. Not so many. Okay. So yeah, you call it a ripoff. That's a ripoff. That's the way you say it. Sorry, I'm trying to fix something here. Okay. So 
Hmm. We already reviewed the present simple, simple past, the future. What else? We used would yesterday, right? What about present perfect? Have you ever been scammed? Have you ever been scammed? No. No? You know what is a scam? Yes. You are telling a scheme in a scanning? Again? Are you, uh, do you mean a scheme in a scheme in a scanning? Uh, no, scan, let me see. So the question is. Okay. I got it, sorry. Scam. Okay. Do you think Black Friday? Oh, do you think Black Friday is a ripoff? Okay, do you think Black Friday is a ripoff? So let me tell you. Um, now, I need you to remember using WH questions. So if you want to make a question to me right now, raise your hand, put an emoji, whatever you want to do, but give me some sign to stop and answer your question. And again, turn on your camera if possible, please, okay? So let me tell you. Um, I have never, well, yeah, you know what? I have been scammed once. And I told you about it, about the, the engine starter of my vehicle. Um, again, make WH questions, right? Make WH questions. The engine starter of my vehicle, it, it was malfunctioning. So I had to buy a new one because the place where I took it for repair they took a piece of, they, they, they basically ripped me off. They really ripped me off because they, they made the starter malfunction. So I had to go and buy a new one, but a new one was $300. So I was about to buy it, but then I thought about trying the old one again. You know, things happen for a reason. So I tried um and black friday i have been i have never i have never bought on a, on a black friday you know i have seen great offers i have seen great offers but not here in el salvador most of all in the united states and on sunday on sunday i'm buying four tires from importadora uni Unillantas, i think it's called and they're they're selling me for tires, each tire was $93, but with the Black Friday offer and everything, I'm gonna pay $50 and 13 cents for each tire. So that's like 200 and something. And it's a good deal. I think it's a good deal. So. Really? And yeah. where is that? Where Where is that business? Where and is that? They're in Lourdes and Santa Ana. I'm gonna go to to Lourdes after the class at 1 p.m. on Sunday, and they're gonna install them, you know, and um, align align the vehicle tires. And uh, yeah, I think that was a good offer. And I'm paying with my credit card from another bank that I cannot mention, or <laughs> with Taza Zero, you know, with <laughs> zero commission for 12 months okay so oh and they're they're dunlop dunlop tires so they're japanese tires yeah. let's see how it goes right now i'm wearing melones on the car so i'm a scare i cannot run right now so that's me uh we we recently also bought a, a washing machine at sears and it was like 435 or something like that was a good machine. It's, it's like 40 pounds. It's a big washing machine. It was very cheap. 
But I do believe that Black Friday offers, many of them are a ripoff. They're not, they're just fake, fake offers, you know. So be careful, you're buying something. Okay, um, so that's an idea of a question, but you are free to use the present perfect as you please. Just make any present perfect questions. Nobody made me a question. Nobody made me a WH question. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Just Okay, so I'm gonna split you in four small groups. Uh, please practice with your classmates, make WH questions with the present perfect. Okay, let's go for it. Okay. Hello. Hello. Black Friday. So, did you go to the Black Friday? I usually don't know by uh, for this date. It's very complete uh, because sometimes the uh, sometimes they uh, increase the price of the product and um, store is uh, the store is uh, this white is a uh, discount also the store are full full and in cost a uh, little to buy This system is very complicated to, to be in a mall. Yeah. I was in Metro Centro the last Saturday and it was full. Complicated to get a, a parking. You were at the food court. Uh, no, when I, I was in a bank, but it, I, it took, it took maybe 15 minutes to get the parking space. <laughs> um, the last Saturday, and imagine this day. Hopefully. Really? Hi, teacher. Come on, no stop, the teacher is recovering. Okay. Okay, uh, guys, and have you ever been? Sorry? Continue. Have you ever been? Let's come. Yes. Yeah. In my case, I I haven't, uh, but I I I know a friend that he he was scammed, scammed, He was scammed. 
scammed. He was a scam. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was a scam. Uh, 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 he he received a, a, a email from PayPal. Oh, wow. So he he doesn't know that that, that page is is exactly like the PayPal web page, but the 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 what, how do you say the can build a correo the sender the the sender email uh, is an valid valid email from PayPal, but he doesn't know he he filled the, the form that they received to to confirm. Uh, his his de his data or his data. data or his information and three days later uh, he received a, a notification that he he bought a he bought a in, he bought a in in London in a in a store three Three hundred dollars on clothes. <laughs> so oh. he he called to, to the bank for, for a report. He called the bank that transaction to report that transaction. Report the, the transaction. So uh, fortunately, he he uh, how do you say recuperó. He recovered the much he, his money. But a month later, I think. A month later. Mm -hmm. Yes. And by the way, your friend is a developer or you? No, uh, he he's a. Uh, because how he didn't identify something about if he has a developer. I mean, he does. He he is a developer, but he knows he knows about a uh, computer. He studied with me. Uh, is a uh, bachelor in in informatics system uh, in on how do you say bachillerato? Bachelor. Bachelor. Yes, he he is a uh, computer technique too, mm -hmm. and technician, and he he knows English. He he knows English. He, he worked for from a. The, uh, three or four call centers and he he was tired of that so he quit for a, a, a time and he don't want to doesn't want to doesn't want to to work for a call center again <laughs> but he is a, he is he is speak he speaks uh, English very good I practice with 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 him sometimes because I I play video games with him too. We we have a a team from ten members. Uh, uh, we we have developer designers, uh, call centers uh, agents and call center agents. Yes, and they are almost. Five or six uh, speaks uh, speak English very well, very well. Even we we in our team has have a a member that he is Salvadorian, but her her fathers are Chinese. His fathers, his fathers her are parents. Chinese. Her, her parents, parents are, are Chinese. Yes, okay. he is very smart and he is a. Uh, Oh my God, really? Wait. Uh, Erwin have a problem with the internet. Yep. Give the good price, something, something. Yes, give the good price. But the other one, uh, it's a lies. For the customer, yeah? many many companies like to like to the price. 
It's so different in the United States. The Black Friday in the United States is a real Black Friday with the low price. But for El Salvador, it's no, it's no, it's not real, okay? For me, it's not real. Eleven percent. It's not real, okay? For me. Just advertising. Yes. Eddie, would you? And how was your Black Friday today in your business, Erwin? In my business, I never, okay. I never make promotion for the Black Friday or other days because the political in my business is sell with the low price all the time. And the policy. All the time, so the policies we sell the, the battery with the low price all the time, the policy. Yeah. And for me, I don't I don't think the, the Black Friday or something different because when you have a problem with your battery, uh, it's a necessity. Okay? It's because you your car can drive, so you can drive with your car. I think it's necessity. No that either I, I would like to buy a, a TV or or cell phone, but you, you can buy it tomorrow, the next month, or the next year. But the battery, if you don't have a battery, your car can start. It is easy, okay? With this one, I try to give the good price all the time. Yes? Yeah? It's a good advertising like La Neveria. See, no, yes, with the low price, only that. But mm -hmm. I, I have, I have a competition. Okay, I have a competition for this. But I try to do it. I try to do it. The other one. And um, someone, how you don't. The shopping uh, gift or something for Christmas? Yeah. Can you hear me? Have you ever bought a gift mask present on Black Friday? No. No. And, and I think that the one in the family server is no better at the moment. Yeah. I don't know what you said about the economy in the temple. Okay. Make more questions, guys. Remember that the, the point is to talk about um, present perfect. Yes. I think I, 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 I think that the economy is going to without trade and money. Maybe the last time we have a good economy. But in the moment is we have not been a good economy in the server. So to buy something like the TP or, or for the house, you see? The big the big the, the big thing is uh, is 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 more isn't
Yeah. Okay. So I, I can I can so I can see it in, in the economy of Cairo. Yeah. It's a major, a major. I am not sure, but I think that I keep in my mind because if you want to take a a, a money for the bank, for example, uh, one employer need to take uh, how say prestamo a loan loan. Yes, the before the three years, five years, one person with the minimum salary can get the can get the loan. L O N. Loan. Yes. Yes. Loan. Yes. But now all the banks want. The, the person have a good, good money from the world. Yeah. If you, um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if, this is this is one if, one thing about how the economy is settled, Okay. Yeah, it was easier before to get a loan. Well, actually, no. Nowadays, well, it all depends on how much money you make. Yeah. You make, if you make good money, I mean, uh, banks actually look for you. You you no longer book, look for the bank; they actually look for you because everything yeah. is on the on the financial system, right? Right. Yes. Okay. If you wanna if you wanna loan five years ago, you, you can get a loan with the with the minimum salary, but now you have to win. 500, 600, 700 for to get a one loan. Yeah? In the bank, the bank, not the cooperative, cooperative. The cooperative is different. But if you think about this one, it's because the bank had a problem with the person can pay. Okay? Mm -hmm. I got you, I got you. Okay, girls, more questions uh, with simple present. Have you ever been broken hearted? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Suleyma, have you ever been broken hearted? Yes, I think all, all of us. <laughs> Not even just for boys, uh, uh, yeah, Carol. It's just, you know, anybody, your family members could break your heart, right? I mean, it could yes, happen. of course. Right, Irene? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Not necessary, boys. <laughs> okay. Let's let's torture. Let's torture Erwin. Let's make more questions. Uh, tell us. Tell tell the class what happened. What happened? Okay. I'm leaving you with that in mind. What happened? Well, I have been on a difficult relation, you know, and I, in the end, we had to. Uh, to break up, we had to break up because I was married, and so you know we couldn't continue. So we, we, really had, we had fallen in love. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. I mean, the best thing. But things happen for a reason. I mean, I I, I have learned, I have learned in life that these experiences help you grow as a person. They help you grow, grow to grow up, you know, to madurar, grow up. They, they make you grow up, uh, living those things. It's beautiful. I mean, that moment, you know, it, the romantic moment, just before going into a serious relation, you know, when you get flowers, right, guys, girls? When you get flowers, serenata, how do you say serenata in English? I don't know. And so on, right? Oh, 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 I gave her a... Um, a memory stick with like a hundred songs because we used to love the same music you know it was amazing really good we, we how do you say? you remember we made click we made click come on hotel transylvania really 
No. <laughs> Come on, Caroline. You only, you only, you only make click once. You only do click once in your life, not twice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Keep going. We're almost done. You have to speak. Solo posible. Ya no van a regañar. It's possible, teacher. Si me está hablando en presente perfecto en español. <laughs> if posible. Entonces, oh, if, okay. if <laughs> what, what are you talking about? About probabilities. Mm. Yes, teacher. Probabilities. What, what probability oh, you have, you have uh, if you are intubated. The probability, uh -huh. to oh. the probability to survive other is telling us that it's not up for 10%. Yes. Uh, but but Rousseau said Ooh. that if you're familiar with you, you risk the, the, that 10% is, is valueless. So, I mean, it's viable. Uh -huh, you have to Wait. try to survive. So if you have a 10% probability of surviving COVID, you're already intubated. When you're intubated. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. if uh -huh. you, so wait, if the patient has a 10% probability of surviving, mm -hmm. the doctors will do everything possible to help. Yes. It, but I heard, I heard this guy from Republica Dominicana, I think a doctor who was uh, doing this kind of surgery with a camera, a microscopic camera, removing, removing the blockages from the, from the lungs, you know. Used to go with a tube and a camera and go inside and remove and remove all the mucus, all the mucus that the COVID has created on the lungs. Mm. Did you hear, Doc? And oh. he, was, he had success. He had like seven patients already that, that made it through COVID, they didn't go through the intubation. They didn't, they were not intubated. They were not intubated because he made a surgery with a microscopic camera and he removed all the blockages. That's crazy. But this yeah. maybe is more expensive, no? He was, he was experimenting. Mm. I, don't, I don't think these people actually paid for the treatment. Mm -hmm. A good idea. Okay. Have you ever been very sick? Extremely sick. No, extremely. I haven't. What? No. Never. Not, never in your life. Have you ever broken any bones on your body? No. no. Thanks to God, not. Thank God. Hey. Thank, thank God. Thank God, no. Okay, yeah, me neither. What about you, Josue? I broke on the big mirror, but was fighting with my brother. Okay, Wait, Marcus. you broken the mirror, but not a bone? No, my brother broke in the mirror because he was fighting with me. Okay, but yeah, no bones broken. What about you, Doc? Have you ever broken any bones? No, teacher. No, okay. And hopefully that's the way we're gonna die, right? No broken, no broken <laughs> bones. No broken bones there, that's good. I was in a car accident in 2011, but nothing happened. It was crazy. Okay, let's go back. Okay, ready? Okay, I have a question for everybody. Have you ever hired someone to do any job in your house 
have you ever hired? Not just a cha cha, okay? <laughs> Not just a cha cha. Not, I mean, any any person. Hey, Google, how do you say? Uh, like a handyman? Like a, a handyman. handyman? What is a handyman? A one handyman vocabulary. Is vocabulary. Like vocabulary. Um, I understand handyman. that it's like handyman, but albanil. That's like a brick builder, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, I have. I have hired several times. Panier, albañil, bricklayer, mason. Brick, bricklayer, mason. Mason is like my troviora. <laughs> yes. Okay. A plumber. Come on. What other professions do you know that you can hire for your house services? Electrician. Electrician. Uh huh. Mm. What else? Electrician. Mm. Oh. Oh, photographer, I don't know. If... Photographer? A photographer? What else? What else? The teacher. The teacher. <laughs> a teacher, yeah, a teacher. Plumber? Plumber. Okay. ¿Cómo sería un técnico, technician? Alguien que repara electrodomésticos. Or electronics. <laughs> Computers or electronics, a technician. Okay. Painter. A painter. Soldier. Uh, soldier. No, soldier is a uh, soldado. <laughs> uh, it starts with, uh, it's uh, not Spanish, it starts with a W. Welder. Welder. A welder. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Carpenter. What? What? Sandra again? Carpenter. Carpenter. A carpenter. Yes. Mechanic. Yeah. Mechanic. A mechanic. Okay. That's it. A maid. A maid. Architect. Yeah. An architect. A baby sister. A babysitter. Okay. Baby. Can you hire a baby sister? She's my sister. It's a baby. <laughs> my sister is baby. Did you? I have seen. I see a post. I saw. I saw a post on Twitter. And you can hire the services. You can hire my services to be your boyfriend or pretend to be your boyfriend for one night. Okay, if it includes oh <laughs> if it includes kisses, is a hundred dollars. Okay, <laughs> if we if we pretend in front of your in front of your parents uh, that we are, we are getting married, that's two hundred dollars. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Per oh, night. Per night, yeah, it's good money. That's good money. Hey, but that's a good idea, right? Have someone that looks like Brad Pitt going to your house, right? Pretending to be. Uh, that's too much. Okay, what happened with these services? Now, I want to ask you if you hire me to go to your house and teach you one on one, teach you live classes, can you demand um, a good service from me? Yes. Okay. Um, if I am teaching you English and I'm trying really hard, you know, can you still demand more from me? Okay, let's change the scenario. It's not me, it's another teacher. <laughs> it's like it's if I am paying for a service. I want a good service. You want a good service. The same with La Checha, right? With a maid, with a mason, with a plumber. Have you ever been in that situation where you hire someone to do a job in your house? And you know, and you know that that person is not doing a good job. Or, for example, a mason tells you, Man, to repair that wall, it's gonna be a thousand dollars. 
and it's going to be one full month. Have you ever been there? Okay. No. What about yes, uh, what happened? Andres, tell us what happened. Uh, I have a, a friend is a builder or how do you say how do you say a Mason. Uh, Mason. Mason. And he only works with uh how to say contract. Contract, okay. Uh, he tells you how much money will earn to do a job, but it's a, a good mason. It's a good mason. Okay. Yes. He built my house. All he my built, house. built, built all my house. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. That's great. It's rare. It's really weird. Sorry. It's really weird to find good workers nowadays. For example, near to Irwin, there's a guy, an electrician who works very well. He's like 21, I think, or 23. It's very smart. And he charges very inexpensively, you know, so it's good. Um, but have you ever had to fight with a merchant, you know, or one of these contractors? Have you ever had to fight for um, a not well done job? No, you have never received bad service from anybody, no? Lucky you. You have to find a, a good worker for everything wow. that you need. Yes. Wow, that, that's impressive because I have. <laughs> that has happened to me. I have a neighbor who does all the, the little jobs in the neighborhood. Plumbery, mm -hmm. you know, masonry. He, he goes to the house and he repairs whatever problem you have. But he's old. He's very old. And sometimes... You know, with experience, with experience also comes, how do you say manas in English? He can rip you off if you don't know, you know. And the thing is that he, he came here, he plugged in two tubes, okay? He plugged into the plumbery for, for the rainwater, the rainwater from the patio to, to the street. Man, six months later, I noticed that water was not going out of, to the street. Not that much water, you know, just little water. It's really weird. Where's the water going? And one day I noticed that the floor on the, on the dining room, you know, where he worked was going down. Uh oh, what happened? It was fluting. There was a small flood, but, but I had to hire another guy. And he came to the house, you know, he repaired that. And I was so happy that I asked him to rebuild, rebuild our restroom, our bathroom. We removed the, uh, the bathtub. Do you know what is a bathtub? Bathtub, yeah. Atina? Yeah. Um, we, we used to have a Tina, a bath too, but we didn't like it because I, could, I didn't feed, I'm too tall. I'm too tall, so I didn't feed. So we removed it and I bought the, uh, the tiles, you know, the tiles are with the, I wish I could show you, but it's, yeah, it's not that tidy right now. <laughs> but he, he, he made a good job. I mean, the guy was amazing. He did a great job and he's an old guy all the way from Moloquil, I think. I don't know how we found him, but it's difficult. So the same thing happens when you do this at your job. Does your job hire people from outside the job to do these little things, to do those things? Yeah. How do they do it? Uh, how do you say to contratar? I forgot. Ah. That's the point. Outsource. Outsource. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So how do you find the right person, Haiti, on your company? 
There's this department that, that contracts those companies. Maintenance? Yes. Maintenance, mm -hmm. the All maintenance. the maintenance, even the equipment maintenance is, is so source. Really? Mm -hmm. Can I refer someone, for example, if I'm an employee of the bank and I go like, hey, Katie, you know what I mean? My neighbor is, you know, very good. Is it amazing? No. No, right? Maybe you can refer them, but um, but he will go to the contest. Oh, the there's contest a contest. Listen, guys, that's impressive. Some companies do try them out. They try them out to see if they are efficient. Okay. And what else? Efficient and proficient. Mm -hmm. If they efficient and proficient. That's and the important. cost, the cost also is important. Yeah, the cost is important. Although, you know, many, many Masons work with other companies already, and they just they can only get hired if the co your company hires their company. That's crazy. Okay, so in this session, we're gonna work around this topic. Um, we have to talk about the advantages of outsourcing a third party service provider, third party um, logistics service provider, but this is regarding logistics. I want you to think as well on what we talked, you know, what other services can you outsource, okay? Um, so let's talk about advantages. Have you heard the term third party logistics before? No, teacher. Not at all. Okay. Okay. Does, how does that sound? We already talked about this. Third party logistics. No idea? Well, for example, maybe when you hire a, a, a company only for your deliveries or how do you say or then the compra or compras for you for purchase purchase order for your purchase, purchase order. order or deliver product you are a, a store that ha, has a, a, some re, retailer centers in in the country you you hire a company to supply this, this this or distribute this Distribute, distribute, distribute your product. Distribute your product. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, you, yes, you, you, you hire and you the, 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 this this company uh, make you a contract. You have you have a contract with the company and with roles and terms. Uh, that maybe yes, okay. that's it. Now, I was thinking, you know, um, I've seen some companies, I've met a lot of companies and company owners as well in all this business. And I've noticed that they also hire one person for whatever. Okay. Um, in the United States, in the buildings, it's very common to hear about the super. That's a common word for, if you live in an apartment in the United States, it's very common to hear people talking about the super. Where's the super? Where's the super? Where's the superintendent? <gasps> okay, a superintendent is someone that takes care of everything. Whether it is an electrical problem, plumbery, you know, uh, cleaning, just cleaning, a stock toilet, whatever it is. This guy is amazing. So, and the same thing happens with some companies. When they meet, when the right person in human resources, you know, the one that, uh, as Heidi said, the maintenance department, you know, they meet someone who is really knowledgeable, who is really knowledgeable on everything. Let me write that word for you knowledgeable knowledgeable okay <laughs> i do it in my classes so 
if you meet someone, if they meet someone, they offer him a contract and they go like, hey, why don't you come to work with us? It's not easy. Why? Why do companies use third party logistics? Heidi mentioned something. Money, right? Is it expensive to hire a Mason or a company? Should be. Uh, you know, at the bank, we used to have uh, those kind of employees working for the bank, but you have to give them same benefits, which makes them more expensive. So it is cheaper to, to uh, uh, outsource that kind of services. A lot of kind of services, security, maintenance, um, many services that uh, it's much better to, to outsource than, than to have them as uh, employees it's for assets. the enterprise. Mm -hmm. Totally. And that's the key element here. When you outsource, you do it not because you don't know how to train someone. And this is the problem. When you start a business, you're going to train your employees based on what you know. The other ones, the main ones, like an accountant, a human resource specialist, a payroll specialist, you know, all these people, they have a profession, but there are other things that you don't consider when you start a business, unless you know what you're doing, unless you get, you have the know-how. If you have the know-how, then you know that you need someone to give maintenance to the company and that's expensive. Why is it expensive? Think about, selling your profession in a daily basis. You know, people like me, for example, I teach English. It is expensive to hire me uh, on private classes. I don't teach private classes because it's too complicated in terms of dealing with customers, you know. Uh, and the thing is that one hour of me teaching you in private can go between 15 and $20. Just one hour. That's expensive, right? Very expensive. You just do the math. If you want three classes per week, that's 45, $135 or something like that. Wow. That's a lot of money. $135 a month. I mean, a week, a month. I mean, wow. So the same thing happens with these guys. I mean, amazing. If a mason charges per day, how long, how much do you think a mason charges per day, Suleyma? Okay. Everybody, how much do you think a mason charges per day? If he charges per day? Maybe 25. Whoa. In this? It's good. Uh, if it is a good uh, mason, yeah. Mm -hmm. Andres? Yes, uh, but some mason uh, don't work per day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They work by project, right, Andres? Yes. Per project, and that's even more expensive or may not be beneficial for the mason. So there are different ways of doing that. Uh, we're going to discuss about this. I want you to keep in mind the ideas that I have given you. Just try to discuss these two questions with your classmates. Um, and a key factor is money. Money is involved in these uh, two questions. So uh, let me do the attendance and then I will split the class so you can practice. My God, I just got a headache, an explosive headache. It was not going to turn into a headache. It was just a little sticky thing on my head. Oh my God, uh, that was weird. Okay, let's see. Alasena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Ramiro Avelino. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguedo de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. 
Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Bien. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Was there. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. You. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Un Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, pausa. Eh, recuerden completar su plataforma. Pueden ir avanzando mucho más de lo que vamos viendo. Revisen su libro. Ahí está todo también, okay? And that's it. Okay, let's practice again. I'm sending you the questions to your WhatsApp too. No Spanish, okay? Let's do it. Okay, let me see the questions that the teacher saying. Guys, I'm gonna stand up for a minute. I'm gonna take a few, okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Had you heard the third third party logistics before? Another question, let me see, have you ever? Have you ever ah. heard the third third party? Mm -hmm. Okay, you got person that give the all the information of all, all the, the perception about the, for example, transportation, yeah. Mm. I answered to all to all the before. <laughs> yes. So. Yes, you answered before the equation. In my case, it's the first time that I hear about the third party logistics. I just hear about third parties. It's not just transport and shipping. It's transport, okay. transport and shipping. So you have a outsourcing. The name of the outsourcing is the logistics, the name is the forward. So I went forward. I need to know the machine. But another time, the stores can do to the, the forward. Forward logistics, I maybe, I am not sure, but maybe. Maybe, but right now, mm. the forward, the empresa logistica, se conoce como forward. I can do the stores, almacenamiento, transport, and shipping. 
activity, many formulas can give you the how much to pay the tax for the government. Because it's cheaper. What's the company? Uh, no, I I said that I think the companies use the TPLs or third party logistics because it's cheaper. What do you think about it? I don't know if Johnny, Johnny, you are there. Are you there? Oh, it's distribution, warehousing, and fulfillment services. Okay, <clears throat> I think we're ready. So I need your help guys thinking, rationing about this. Um, we need to number the steps to outsource a third party logistics provider. This is on your page 20 on your book. What logically, logically, what, what will go first? You're hiring a third party logistics service. So how do you do it? What, would, what should go first in the logical order? Should we develop a detailed plan for the third party logistic selection process? Should we evaluate, interview, and select? Should we review the list, the checklist of third party logistics capabilities? Or should we do an internal assessment of your current and future needs? Uh, do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes. Why? Because you need to know what are your needs to know uh, the best of sourcing uh, to mm, make uh, the job or service that you that you need in your company. What should you include in this internal assessment? What needs? Other than the transportation, of course, now let's focus on transportation right now. So what current and future needs might you have? 
uh, for example, in many, well, in the case in the company, uh, in the a need is uh, the personnel of uh, IT. I, I don't know if IT, but the personnel that provides the internet service. It's, the internet service is not uh, a job of the company because we are a manufacturing, we need a, an outsourcing. So we have to uh, identify uh, who access points we need, uh, the velocity of the internet, the uh, uh, yeah, the speed of the internet. Uh, we have to evaluate uh, the prices of the different outsourcings, um, the good service. If they offer good service. Now, when it comes to transportation, what considerations would a manufacturer have to think of when selecting uh, a transporting company? Uh, maybe the quantity of containers. Um, based, exactly, based on? Based on the quantity of the containers, uh, yeah. maybe the distance. Okay, good, distance. So the where, you need to consider the where, you need to consider the how many products, right? Based on how many products, you have to decide how many containers. I got your points for them. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So the where is very important, I will say. And why? Because your where, your where can be different in the future. If your company grows and you have a good uh, third party logistics company, but they are very small, they only have two containers, and your company grows, what's going to happen? Okay, that's the problem. Okay, you got the idea. What's number two? Jocelyn, Fernando, Heidi. Uh, evaluate, interview, and select. Evaluate, interview, and select. Mm, what do you think, uh, guys? Or yeah. review the checklist of TPL capabilities. Mm. I agree with Fernando. To, to review a checklist for the three PR capability, you have to choose or you have to to one in on mind to to review first. I, I think. But it was Fernando is the one he mentioned the one way interview and select. Keep that in mind. Oh, but develop mm -hmm. the plan for the prepared selection process. Oh, maybe that because they they had to had to define how for how is how is going to be the plan for select uh, a triple a triple logistics service. Okay, so I what do you what do you think, guys? I want to hear more opinions. I only have Fernando, Josie, um, Suleima speaking, Irene, Sandra, Johnny, Carol, Luis, Wendy. What should be number two, guys? Come on. I'm not telling you, you have to tell me. Makes sense. Okay. I think that evaluate, interview, and select is the next step. But how can you select the third-party logistics service if you haven't reviewed in your company 
what capabilities the third party logistics service must have. Can we develop a detailed teacher? Develop a detailed plan for the trip. For me, for me evaluate, interview, and select can be the last because yes. you, you have to select and finish the process. Okay. Look at this. You develop a selection process. Yeah, you have to prepare the, the plant first. How? Mm, how are you going to select the guy or the company? What capabilities do you need them to have based on what you need? As I was telling Suleyma, uh, mm -hmm. do I do I need do I need a big company or do I need a small uh, logistic company? Am oh, I... I I understand that is for my needs, mm -hmm. not for the 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 sourcing have to offer to me. I mean, do you, do you see the offer on the evaluation stage? Once you have your plan, so you develop a, a detailed, a detailed plan for the selection process. As Heidi, as Heidi was saying, can you imagine? It's like a contest. Okay, let's build, let's select a mason. Okay, let's select a mason. Who builds this wall faster? Listen, who builds this wall faster? And they give the bricks. And they have to build, listen to this, they have to build a two meters, a two meters wall. They must build a two meters wall. Okay. They hire three masons, three masons. On your marks, you have to build the wall of two meters right now. Okay, go. Who do you think will win that competition? I think, yes, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, uh, my point is, guys, that you need to know what they are going to do in your company and then develop ideas on how you will choose them. Because if you hire a Mason out of these three, I will hire, I will hire the Mason that builds not a two meters wall. I will hire the mason that builds a one meter wall. Okay. Did you hear me? But why, if you're asking them to build a wall of two meters, why would you hire someone who builds one meter wall? Okay, I will do it because there is a rule. There is a rule that says on the Masons, you know, there's a rule that says that you can only build one meter every six hours, I think. Okay, if you're building up, you can only build one meter, one meter, one meter, because you need to let the cement dry and you have to be uh, watering, watering the, the cement. So if this guy built a one meter wall and said, okay, I'm done. And he tells me, oh, no, no, no. I have to wait for the cement to dry up. Do you, do you understand? Okay, creo que se han perdido un poco. Um, es muy importante esto. Um, so, si me entendieron el ejemplo, seleccionaría un albañil que me construye una pared de un metro, a pesar de que le haya pedido una pared de dos metros. Creo que es un metro. Okay. Pero hay una regla que dice que no puedes construir más de un metro, por ejemplo, a cada cierta cantidad de horas, porque el cemento necesita sellarse 
no tenés que estar eh, humedeciendo ¿ya? Cada, a cada momento para que no para que se lleve bien el cemento tiene que funcionar de esa manera si levantas una pared de 5 metros te aseguro que se cae el día siguiente ok ok that's the idea so first you do an internal assessment of your current and future needs second review the checklist of the capabilities that the third party logistics must have okay then you develop a detailed plan for the tripl selection process and finally you evaluate you run a test just like Haiti said you interview them finally and you take a decision okay that's a decision process making a decision making process decision making process okay okay good so next step since you don't want to talk too much let me give you some homework right now so you can do it in groups let's match the terms related to the logistics to their meanings on the right what is transportation what is private fleet management what is freight claim insurance what is cargo insurance and what is small package services that sounds like career so go with your group read research and come up with the definitions attached to each one okay okay okay, okay. Yes, this number three. Okay. Mm. Mm. Number one transportation. Is the uh -huh. last one? Yes, the physical process of transporting. Commodities and mer yeah. mercadies, goods and cargo. Transportation, legal demand. Okay. Very fleet management. The function that allows company. A function that I reach. Okay. Transportation, I think, is the last one. The physical process of transporting commodities and merchandise goods and cargo. Yes, I, I, I agree with you, Suleyman. Okay. What is the meaning of cargo? Como carga. Cargo. Okay, vamos a ver. Mm, page 20. What was the first? 20. Page 20, exercise number 3. Page 20, exercise number 3. Okay. Okay. What is the meaning of cargo? Cargo. It's like a, it's like carga. Okay. 
Uh, what do you think about cargo insurance? The physical process of transporting commodities and merchandise, goods and cargo. Mm, cargo insurance. Mm. My package service. Maybe a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. That is cargo insurance. Mm, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, Ice protection against all risks as physical loss or damage. That is a cargo, cargo, insurance, cargo insurance. What is the meaning of freight? Freight, let me check. Mm. Freight, freight, freight. Transporte. Oh. Como de seguro de transporte. Freight claim uh, insurance. Frankly. So that is the number three. Provides protection against all risks of a legal law. demand. Mm -hmm. So this is number three. Mm. Mm -hmm. Provide protection against against. Mm -hmm. What is fleet? Fleet. Flota privada, creo que es así, o flot. Provides protection of the physical loss and Are we suing? Mm, I think it's a uh, function that the laws company which really to remove and minimize, minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. This is a cargo insurance. No, it's not. Private risk management. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is free. Mm -hmm. Number three could be provides protection against mm -hmm. all risk. Mm -hmm. That could be number three. Number what? Number two is number five. So in order, two, five, oh. four, three, one. Right? Two, five, four, three, and one. Two, five, two, five, four, three, one. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Insurance cheaper. We're done, teacher. And what exactly is cheaper? Cheaper is more barato, but has less cost. Cheaper. 
No, this. Comparative. Cheaper. It's a comparative. Cheaper. Or are you saying cheaper? Oh, cheaper. <laughs> uh, cheaper is the, the, um, the distributor. Someone who distributes the cheaper, the transporter. Carrier. Did you understand that concept the freight, private, no, no, freight claim insurance? Uh, you should. Wait. You should, Caroline. Uh, like uh, uh, if occur an accident, uh, the insurance, the company insurance respond. Insurance uh, company? The insurance company responds? Uh, it's hard to contract a contract hall, but it uh, it's uh, it's depend and uh, what is the reason or what is the origin or origin uh, ac um, about accident. Sure. Okay. Um, Okay, everybody grab a tool from the Zoom app. Grab a stamp, please, a heart, a star, whatever stamp you want to choose. Let's draw on the screen. Let's draw on the screen. Ready? So what is number one? What is transportation? Just put the stamp where you think transportation goes. So Daima says the physical. Okay, Jose Alberto agrees. Physical process. Caroline, Jose Antonio, Andres. Yeah. So it is, Luis as well, the physical process of transporting commodities, commodities, and merchandise, goods, and cargo. The physical process of transporting commodities and merchandise, goods, and cargo. That's transportation. What is private fleet management? Which on the or West Company is ready to remove or minimize the risk as such with vital investment. Okay. Mm. 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 Do we all agree? Yes, that makes sense actually. So private fleet management, a function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. A function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. That is private fleet management. Makes sense. 
Okay. What is freight, freight claim insurance, insurance. What is freight claim insurance? Okay, Luis Romero, amigo Fernando, Carolina, Greece, Lima, Greece. What about the others? Okay. Sorry. Okay, so freight claim service. I'm sorry, freight claim insurance. A legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. Again, a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. Do we understand that concept? Pay attention to that part, by a shipper to a carrier. And they look for financial compensation if there was loss or damage of the cargo. Okay. Maybe okay. in this case, the shipper could be the, the third party logistic and the carrier is the, the, how do you say, the how they send the, the, the product? product send to the point of sale or to the point of um, arrival, the point of destination, yeah. Totally, agree. Number four, cargo insurance. What is cargo insurance? Go ahead. Jose Antonio says provides protection. Sulema agrees. Only two students I have in this class. Jose Alberto. Miguel Angel, very good. Caroline. Okay, so we all agree. So cargo insurance provides protection against all risks of physical loss or damage to freight. Provides protection against all risks of physical loss or damage to freight. So yes, that's the cargo insurance. Um, do you think, yeah, there is a separate insurance for the or the transportation type, right? If it is a ship, if it is a trailer, if it is a SUV, any ground transportation vehicle must have its own insurance, but the freight, the cargo is a different story, right? Do you think a carrier or a shipper will take your product without insurance? It's a big risk. It is a big risk. That is great. For you and for the carrier, if something happens along the way, it's not my responsibility. Right. Yeah. And last, small package services, of course, envelopes or packaged shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds. Saben que eso está mal. Envelopes debería ir con de aquí no es. Enveloped or packaged shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds. That's small package services. Who, who takes care of this commonly? What names come to your mind when you hear about small packages? Couriers. Couriers. Couriers like? Like DHS, DHL. No. Mm -hmm. Oops. UPS. Mm -hmm. And FedEx, right? FedEx, UPS, DHL. That's it. Good job. Okay. I have a video for you to understand part of this concept. 
because it's very important to understand, and we will discuss the video afterwards. Um, it very, it's very important for you to understand the advantages of having a, a third party uh, logistics, third party logistics company. You know, there is a trend, there is a trend in El Salvador and it's becoming great. I mean, I, I have met so many students that work for third party um, logistics. It's just that the concept of logistics has been, has become more trendy. During the last five years, El Salvador, or at least El Salvador is suffering this new trend, is, is experiencing, I should say, not suffering, experiencing this new trend. Did you know that you can now give your accounting to a third party company? Did you know that there are companies doing the accounting for you? Right? That are, they, they are auditors. They are auditors that can go to your company, perform an external or internal auditing. I don't know how they do it, but they're external to your company and they are very good. Now, something that called my attention from this video is that I saw it yesterday. I remember it talks about how technology is changing, number one. And it also talks about a topic that we spoke before. Do you remember the question, is it important for your company to know about your competitors, prices and offers and all that? You think it is important? Yes, right? We said, yes, it is. And mostly on the Black Friday. Can you imagine if you knew that your competitor is going to bring this, 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 and this promotions on Black Friday? Man, that's a big advantage. Okay. You can counter, counter that. Yes, exactly. You can counter back. Exactly. So let's do that. It's on your chat. Remember, you cannot share the content. Just watch the video. You're going to have 10 minutes right now to watch the video and give your general idea of the video, okay? In 10 minutes, we all come back here. Go ahead. Don't forget to, to take notes of new vocabulary if you find. Turn on the closed captions.
Okay, two minutes. Okay, okay. Cater, 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 cater. Okay, cater, supply, stock, provision. Comprehensive, forecasting, forecasting, telling, predicting, predicting what is going to be the trend of or the behavior of something broadly, spreadly. <laughs> Broadly, widely, seamless, seamless, very similar, or not similar, seamless. Oh, wait. Hmm. Without any trouble. Sin costura, what? Seamless. Is it that properly spelled, seamless? Yes. Mm. Maybe in the context. Pipeline inventory. An inventory of pipelines. Providers. Okay. Who? Sin oh. sin sin fisuras? Or oh, maybe? okay. Okay, no cracks. Okay. Pipeline inventory. Okay, providers, providers who delivers raw material to your company, leverage, leverage to take advantage of something. It's a verb, leverage. Bro, brokerage, that's new for me, brokerage. Hmm. Yeah. Correct. And again, context, vast, very extensive, a vast number of people, a vast amount of pasta, vast, and so on. Did you like the video? What What's the video about? The video about, talk uh, about the, the three-party three logistic, uh, the the kind of three-party three logistic. What is the benefit to to hire a three-party logistic? Uh, or save money, reduce papers and procedures to like uh, you don't have uh, concern about the papers, uh, permissions, requests, the, that there is the, the work for the third party logistics. You save money in equipment, in all related to, if your company doesn't dedicate to, to, to transport product, you manufacture product, but 
you don't... you are not on you're not on the business you're not on the business yes. of, of transporting product okay you, you, you don't have to to buy a, a equipment for doing that because you hire a, a third party logistic enterprise that can help you so that reduces the costs for the company as Heidi was saying right yes you reduce cost totally 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 what, what, what is there is there an, a disadvantage a disadvantage what do you think Yes. Yes, there are disadvantages of higher third party logistics. What could they be? If it is a if it is not a known third party logistic, you know, if you didn't do a good research about them, they can steal your property or they can pretend that your product got lost. They got assaulted. You know, that had, this had happened in El Salvador. It has happened in El Salvador where the, the, the transporter, uh, the shipper, the shipper says, oh, you know what? We got assaulted. You know, they, they told in your product. They didn't, they didn't take the vehicle, but they took all the product. I'm so sorry. You have to deal with your insurance. Okay, think about it. We will discuss that tomorrow or uh, Monday. Monday tomorrow, no class, no class. Okay, I'm staying tonight <laughs> with Jose Alberto Salas Benitez just for ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jose Alberto. Let's do the attendance. So you can go to sleep. Enjoy the night. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Good night. Good night. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanes. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night, Sandra. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Okay. What's up, Jose Alberto? Mm. How does it stay? How's, uh, how's everything going in the Palma? Mm. Now is... Is it cold? Can hear you. Oh, sorry. Now it's relaxed. Uh, I can hear it's noisy. It's in peace. In yeah. It's a peaceful place. Yeah. 
Um, what's your job like? I mean, what do you have to do? I am a system operator in the customs. I work at Cotecna El Salvador. This is the company uh, uses scanners for trucks, uh, vehicles, to truck vehicles, or containers. Mm. We scan vehicles, containers, buses. Do you scan? Our company provides the service to, to scan the vehicles in, in the border. The On the airport, border. In the airport. In, here in El Salvador, we have contract in five customs. is La Chadura, uh, El Amatillo, eh, San Cristóbal, eh, Santa yeah. Ana, is, yeah, yeah, El Salvador is, mm, but in, in the international airport is just for um, security screening. No, no, it's for merchandise part for package. It's, packages, uh, packages. Small, yeah, it's packages, this is a small scanner. And how long? In, how long have you been working there? Six years. Six years. No, no almost eight. eight. Almost eight. Yeah. How, how long uh, has the company been in El Salvador? Twenty thirteen. Since twenty fourteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. We start in twenty fourteen. We started. In, yeah, yeah. We started in. Uh, January, uh, January. Mm -hmm. uh, 2014. Do you like your job? I love my job. It's what, relaxed. What's, what's the biggest, the biggest, what's the biggest finding you have ever made? Um, here was a uh, all the merchandise that was not declared. Declared? Yeah, for uh, McCormick was um, almost 12. I don't know what they say, barriles. Barrels. 12 barrels passed for uh, uh, paper. A, a, um, uh, we say Chile. Oh, Chile. Chile. Yeah, yeah. Pass is twelve barrels to to make uh, paper. This uh, paper. Paper. Yeah, the cost for that merchandise not declared was a amount uh, forty thousand. Forty thousand dollar. Yeah, okay, it was a big problem for that company because uh, they have uh, good. Um, they didn't classification. Quit. It's a, a good cl classification. Oh, the the standard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have uh, got the standard. Uh, before that, they always. Um, they had yeah. no problem at the at the border. They yeah, yeah no but but two or for one or two years, they always pass the scans. Before that, that's crazy! Wow. Yeah. Uh, so you're separate from from the border from the customs. Of this separate. Uh, you know, like you're you're not in in the actual customs in the aduana. You're yeah. not. In customs. Yeah, I work in in, in the customs, oh. but but is uh, your the, only job is to scan the vehicle. Yeah, but my uh, is my company is two PL, I guess, because we work for the, the government. And we have to scan, and we have a uh, weight. Is it weight? Navascula is a big, big weight. A scale. Uh, yeah, we have the scales and a 
can't the vehicles. The vehicle. Um, another these, thing. These can these can the tires. Yeah. Yeah. The we can't as can't uh, set a vehicles. That. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's too strong. Yeah. Is how do you say? It's pro we have prohibiting. It is prohibited. Yeah, it is prohibited to scan. Uh, Easier, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. Yeah, it's not allowed to scan uh, people's and animals. Yeah. Do you but, wear? Do you wear personal I protection <laughs> equipment? <laughs> mm, no, just helmet. Um, the vest. But, the vest. Yeah, yeah, but because our machine is a mobile, and we have a. Uh, um, how do you say cabina? Cabin. We have a cabin with a um, plomo with... covered with, with with that material. Mm -hmm. And for security, we have a personal um, dosimeter. And we have uh, environments uh, yeah, you can say you can say plumb or leave yeah uh, the, the cabin of the machine is covered it's, or plumb it's made of plumb wow yeah. it's just that i remember a siri i think it was breaking that they used to transport uh cocaine or methamphetamine yeah. On the tires. Yeah, that was crazy. I mean, wow. Well, oh. uh, our scanner have the labels. We can use a down, medium, and high label. And when you use Level, uh, levels, yeah, le level. When I use a uh, medium, a minimum label. Mm -hmm. We saw the. We can see. We can see it uh, through by through two centimeters to the tires. Two centimeters to the tires. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, the probability to saw the cocaine is is higher. Is higher. Hey, do you think that'll work? That device will work to find um treasures under the land <laughs> have you seen that yeah. program on discovery channel there's a no in the history in the history channel they they scan the, the land you know to see what is underneath the land and you get yeah. some you get some sort of map on, on the form of of the um underground of the underground that's crazy yeah you should try it. You should try it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it, it is interesting. Hey, you know what? Uh, the checkpoint, not a checkpoint, but the frontier, the uh, ah, the border. I am sure you can find things because I'm sure there's people, you know, all these gangsters throwing throwing things before they go to customs, right? Yeah. Or I guess police does that, right? They scan the perimeter. Mm, yeah, yeah. The, it's, um, it's a great idea. Uh, the board <laughs> police. Okay. But I remember. I remember when when I scan a uh, a truck. Um, there were there was there a were, people there. No, there, there was a person. There was a person, it's a lady uh, hiding. Yeah, my responsibility is just to scan the vehicle. I am not the uh, technician to report review the, the machine. The, the machine is another person. My responsibility is just to uh, look the, the picture and that if, if the picture is with good quality, I send, send it, but uh, my responsibility is not to check the real 
the imagine but real image the, the technician yeah. checks the image that you send yeah when the technician reviewed the, the imagine they use a mark and say there was a lady in the, the truck but it's they, not my they fault because I, I don't know what's going on in, in that right it's not the responsibility but did they stop him mm, yeah yeah the police and wow that's crazy okay i'll see you on monday hope you rest see take you care good night, good night.